Welcome Foolish Mortals to another quick little uh, video. Today I wanted to show you some of the uh, TTM autographs I got uh, in August. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, that's uh, through the mail. Um, I write to different production companies or to the stars themselves at their houses or through their agencies or sometimes even to sets and um, send a request with a letter and uh, things I make. Um, now most of you know what uh, autograph cards are. They are stuck in non-sports cards as well as sports cards. Um, this is one I got recently out of uh, the new Umbrella uh, Academy packs that uh, Rittenhouse is making. And they're cool little cards, um, but you know sometimes they make they don't make cards for everything because not everything will sell. So I actually started creating my own cards uh, that I sent out to people. So that I could get them autographed and brought back. Um, several of the stars wrote back that said the cards were great. <clears throat> and I always sent another copy for them to have. But they would like more room. So I started creating basically like a 3 by 5 card that they could sign. And everybody seems to be real happy with that. So um, first off, um, one of them I got right away this month was TJ Ward of the Denver Broncos. And this is an example of one of my larger cards. Um, one I got, in fact, just yesterday was Richard O'Brien, uh, who known better from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, but I had him autograph my card from uh, Flash Gordon. So you can see the size difference. It does give them more room to write and do whatever they like, which, which most of them do. Um, but it was nice to get that back from him. Uh, now, that only that took five years. Sometimes this is a waiting game. Um, and in fact, Richard O'Brien looks like he moved to New Zealand uh, for either work or that's where he's just decided to stay for COVID because that's where it was postmarked from. Next up, I got Miss Olivia Coleman, uh, Academy Award winner uh, from her role in Doctor Who. Kim Basinger, or Bassinger, depending on how you want to pronounce it, from the Batman 89 movie. Um, it was pretty cool of her. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Also from Batman, Robert Wool. Um, he was on a show called Arliss, as well as many other guest starring roles. But he was in Batman 89. Um, continuing with Batman, John Glover, um, who was in, um, Batman and Robin. You know, not a super movie, but, you know, some people liked it. Uh, also, you'd know him from Smallville, where he played Lex Luthor's father, uh, just magnificently. And he was also in the new uh, um, Shazam movie as well. Uh, moving to Superman, I got Dana Delaney. Uh, she voiced Lois Lane. That one was really cool. I also got Martin Cove from The Karate Kid. Um, I had actually met him in Denver at the Denver Comic Con not too long ago. And then that came in the mail. I was like, well, there you go. And then uh, one I did write to the set for, which took a while to get here, was uh, Lana Perara from um, Once Upon a Time. Um, that did take a long time, but I'm sure she just kind of gathered her mail from when she left and left. And then this is her role as the mayor, uh, the Wicked Witch and the mayor. So overall, it was a really good month. Um, I do get quite a lot of these back. Um, I have about a 60% re return rate. Um, I've gotten more back recently, I think, because everybody's been stuck at home with COVID. But um, I do do quite a lot, and uh, autograph collecting is another one of my hobbies. Uh, but it's not nearly as expensive as uh, pops and toys and such. So thanks for watching.